Hey, what's going on, everybody? Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. I'm the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries, and I'm the voice of Phoenix and Javelin. Good to be with y'all here again on this day. Uh, great day to be alive. Uh, great day to be in the Lord. Um, before I go any further, if you like what you hear, I ask that you'll subscribe to my videos, Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. Uh, when you see the bell, ring the bell. Ding! When you ring the bell, you'll be notified when my videos come out. Give me a thumbs up, y'all, or a thumbs down. And leave your comments, great comments. Um, you know, it's, I, I'm, 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 I, uh, thanks to y'all, I'm getting more subscribers. And as the subscriber, you know, uh, base increases, I want to be able to answer as many you know, of the comments back that I can. If it gets to a point to where there's too many, I hope that y'all will understand. Just keep on watching. And what I'll do is I'll comment and uh, you will know that I uh, uh, enjoy your comments by the by the thumbs up that I'll give your comments. And we'll just keep on pressing on y'all. Lots of stuff that's going on. And um, I, I, I really, and I mean this from my heart, I, I really we, we believe that we have to deal with this stuff together. Um, we have to make sure that we are, are being heard. We have to make sure that we're not overlooking things. We have to make sure that we're not being emotional people, but that we are a people, no matter what the color of our skin is, that we are a people that uses our minds. I like um, 2 Timothy, the first chapter, verse number seven, the word of God says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. God wants us to have a sound mind and and you know the greatest way for any man or woman to achieve a sound mind is is to receive salvation through Christ Jesus because the Holy Spirit he the third person of the Trinity he's the one that abides within us and gives us that sound mind. We study the word of God, we read the Bible, all the things that Christians do and it helps us to get strong. Uh be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And I want that for everybody. I mean, I'm serious. I want that for everybody. I want that anybody, anybody that I talk to. I don't care what your financial status is, your educational status. I don't care the color of your skin. I don't care if you're a drunk, if you're a, a adulterer or a whoremonger, whatever you might be, transgender, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, you know, God loves everybody. Of course, we know that he, he hates our sin. He hates our sin, but he loves each and every one of us. And so with that said, you know, that's, I thank y'all so much for subscribing to my videos, and I pray that over the time, as time goes on, and we deal with all the ins and outs of our society, you know, from today on out until whenever uh, the Lord comes back, or if I'm censored off of this um, YouTube, whatever happens, that I'm going to keep on doing what God has called me to do, but that we'll handle these things together. That old saying that no man is an island, and that is an absolute truth. Uh, we need each other. So with that said, this particular article that I'm going to do of today, because we know that we're dealing with um, Black Lives Matter, we've been dealing with um, all the things that are going on in the Black Lives Matter organization. We know that Black Lives Matter is a very vocal, vocal organization. Black Lives Matter uh, let um, President-elect Joe Biden um, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris know by no uncertain terms that because uh, they helped them get into office that they owe them uh, a place pretty much at the table in the White House to help them determine how they're going to do things in this country. Black Lives Matter, you know, being run by, um, as at, at this particular time, one um, board of director, Patrice Kahn Collars, um, and then, of course, those others that are in, involved, the other uh, two women that helped her, found Black Lives Matter. We know all the confusion and all the things that are taking place, y'all, in that organization. We know the infighting that's taking place. We know that the name Black Lives Matter is not a is not a patented uh, or registered uh, trademark. Um, anybody can use it. And because that's the case, uh, that's why when Hawk Newsom came out and said that he wanted them investigated the Black Lives Matter because of all the money uh, uh, as of... Um, this date, I'm sure it's probably been more because people keep on giving. I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't give them a dime, but ninety million dollars worth of, of 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 money that had been gone into the Black Lives Matter, Matter, Matter organization, and you wonder where that money's going. Where is that money going? And um, you've watched my videos. I'm not, you know, this to me. I, I I do things based on I look I look at the news, Christian perspective from the news, and then. My wife, of course, she's a, a she lets me know 
keeps me informed, keeps the articles coming. And I continue to dig and find out what exactly is going on, y'all, um, in the different uh, uh, the news, the, the the different articles and and the different situations that I handle, for lack of a better term. Uh, but this particular one right here, y'all, and I think I don't know for those of you that have been paying attention and keeping your eye out on Black Lives Matter. This right here uh, leaves a, a a particularly bad taste in in my mouth. It is should uh, leave a particularly bad taste in your mouth. Those of you that are Black Lives Matters um, um, donators of your money, and you are rally round behind them, you march with them. You do all the things that they do uh, because of who they profess to be. This particular article, this is from the New York Post. And this, uh, from the New York Post, it's, um, it's dated April the 22nd, 2021, okay, by Elizabeth uh, Rosner and, and uh, Jorge uh, Fitzgibbon, okay. Uh, Black-owned businesses struggling at George Floyd Square plead for help. Once again... The title, Black-Owned Businesses Struggling at George Floyd Square Plead for Help. And for those of you uh, who I believe everybody in the United States of America, you have to be living up under a rock if you don't know about George Floyd and about everything that happened and the murder, uh, that fact that he was murdered um, at the hands of one crooked cop. And a lot has transpired since that point. Black Lives Matter took a uh, use that oppor use that particular murder as an opportunity to uh, put themselves out there, y'all, and get themselves um, into your psyche and into your pocket. And so now let's read this article and see if we can determine together once again what's Black Lives Matter doing. So this is Minneapolis. Black-owned businesses at the intersection where George Floyd was killed by police last year, uh, 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 now known as George Floyd Square, say they are in dire straits. Black merchants near the once thriving corner of 38th Street and Chicago Avenue said police have abandoned the blocked-off intersection, creating a dangerous autonomous zone that has that ha, that has seen crime spike and businesses evaporate the city left me in danger the owner of smoke in the pit uh, restaurant told the uh the post thursday they they locked us up on, on they locked us up on here and left us behind said the merchant who asked to be identified only as alexander w for fear of reprisals now stop right there Reprisals from who? Reprisals from the police department? The police department is not gonna is not gonna do anything, Alexander W. To you, the people that you need to be looking at, Alexander W. Are the ones that took this particular spot? Because I've seen I have a I have a, a a gentleman right here in San Antonio who has a who has a um, brother who lives in Minneapolis, and he went up there to visit visit visit, visit his his brother. And brought it took pictures of this area, and I I have pictures of this. It took pictures of this area, so this is the thing. So it says, let me let me go back because it says, it says that um, in that second paragraph, black merchants near the once thriving corner of 38th Street and Chicago Avenue said police have abandoned the blocked off intersection, creating a dangerous autonomous zone that has seen a crime spike and business evaporate. The city left me in danger, the owner of Smoke in the Pit restaurant told uh, the Post Thursday. They, lo they locked us up on here and left us behind, said the merchant who asked to be identified only as Alexander W. for fear of reprisals. Now let me go on. They left me with no food, no water, nothing to eat, he said. The police, fire trucks, can't come in. Hmm. Hmm. On Thursday, the intersection was essentially abandoned, save for the occasional uh, gawker who posed for photos in front of the mural outside Cup Foods, the convenience store where Floyd allegedly uh, based, uh, passed a counterfeit $20 bill. At least five stores along one block are shuttered. Owners and workers 
at most of the stores that do remain open uh, were too afraid to comment to the post. Look around things, look around, things are empty, said Richard Roberts, who works at the nearby worldwide outreach of Christ Church. What can we do about it? Now, I'm gonna tell you something, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be ugly, and I'm not trying to be crass, but when Black Lives Matter came in here and they egged y'all on in Minneapolis, made it very clear that this George Floyd needed to do this. And of course, y'all rallied around behind George Floyd and his family. This happened to your community. I don't have no issue with that at all. And they, you did what you, it was in your spirit. It was a healing process for those of you that are in this community. Okay, so you were allowed to do it. They put these concrete barricades that were put there. They weren't brought in there by station wagons and pickup trucks. Those concrete barricades that cordoned off that area were brought in there at the uh, at the approval of the city. Okay, so now that George Floyd has been um, eulogized, now that the, the 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 court case, the trial for Chauvin, the murderer that did this, has taken place. Um, now you're left with this area with these murals and you're left with these areas where nobody seems to want to ask the question, where is Black Lives Matter? Where is Patrice Con Colors besides in Topanga Panyan, Canyon in California? Why is she not up there with some of that $90 million having these barricades moved out of the way Having the streets cleaned, if you want to keep the mural and you want it to be a, 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 a remembrance of George Floyd, have it done in such a way that it's very well kept. And then that the businesses that were shut down because of all the stuff that took place, how come Black Lives Matter is not going about the business of making sure that all these businesses that are in this area know how they can go about tapping in to some of the funds that Black Lives Matter took up for the purpose of taking care of the black community. Y'all listen to me. This is hypocrisy. This is lies and deception at one of the worst levels I've ever seen. And why do I say that? Because listen to me, it's because of stuff like this where you have a lot of mad black people, a lot of angry people, some white, yes, I'm sure some brown, but more than ever black, African-Americans. No, they want it. Listen to me. They want to be called black with a capital B, not with a small B black with a capital B. So I'm a, I'm a black person. I'm a Christian first. I'm a black Christian. And so with all this taking place, where is Black Lives Matter, y'all? Um, this is just ridiculous. This, you know, if I was Black Lives Matter, I would be doing everything that I possibly could to make sure that this type of article, this type of uh, a media is not going to be get out into on the news. And apparently it does because you have, you don't know. Besides this article right here, I have not heard anything else about what Black Lives Matter plans on doing in this area. So let me go, on, let me read on. Sometimes it's good and sometimes bad, Robert said. It's not stopping, it's not stopping violence. The black owned businesses say they, uh, they have lost 75% of their business since the Floyd Memorial sprouted up shortly after his death and have even launched a GoFundMe fundraising page in a desperate bid to stay afloat. Why do they need a GoFundMe page? With Black Lives Matter, this is what they're supposed to be doing, y'all. Listen to me. I had a, 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 a somebody sent a comment. And it was a really good comment. And I, I had to thank her, this, this young lady, for the comment that she made because she used her head. She made, she made it very clear. As a time comes, y'all, when you have to stop being moved along by your emotion, by your rage, your anger, your hatred, your racism, there comes a time you have to use your mind, the mind that God gave you. I tell the kids that are in school, listen to me, use your mind, think, go to school, get your diplomas, go to college. Your mind is not going to break if you use it. The gray matter is not going to come flooding out of your ears 
if you think about what you're doing first, we are left, we are being left with a group of, 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 of a generation of kids, y'all, that can no longer critically think. They're being told by everybody else how they're supposed to think. They're supposed to be told how they're supposed to hate. They're, they're, they're telling people that, uh, about white supremacy and, and, and critical race theory and all these kind of things that are no good for them to the point to where they won't even think about if what they're getting is right. How is that going to affect me? How is that going to affect my future? If I decide to get married down the line, how is that going to affect my children or my grandchildren? How is that going to affect my business, my home? You know, instead, we listen to these people, we give, we put money into them, we follow them around, and then when they abandon you, which is exactly what Black Lives Matter has done here, they abandoned this community, then what do you do? The exact thing was, it was asked right here. A GoFundMe page in a desperate bid to stay afloat. The merchants feel they have been the, the, the sacrificial lambs in the city's response to Floyd's death, according to the, uh, the, the fundraising page. In the, in, in, uh, in the fight for justice, we must not forget the fight of economic justice of a once thriving community, the page said. We business owners know that the fight for justice doesn't just include justice from the legal system. We must also include justice for business impacted. Absolutely right. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But see, the thing is, you're looking for, you're looking, you're blaming the wrong people. Y'all listen to me. This article, in this article, those business owners, you're blaming the wrong people for what happened. Now, you want to, the Black Lives Matter wants you to defund the police. They want you. They, they they want you. They want you to be up in arms with, with 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 the white race. They want you to do all these things, and then when it comes down to the help that they need, you're abandoned. Black Lives Matters have abandoned this community. Okay, so the city barricaded the the the, the intersection to allow for the Floyd Memorial to be erected. Phil Phil Caller, a member of the group that oversees the memorial, said. The merchants' complaints are part of a false narrative. Listen to this. Now, you talk about some infighting. Phil, Phil Kaler, 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 K H A L A R, a member of the group that oversees the mural, the mural, the, uh, the memorial, rather, said the merchants' complaints are part of a false narrative. It's not like we are telling delivery drivers or our or customers not to come in, he said. This area has always been violent. Okay, earlier in the article, it said that the area used to be a thriving area. So you can't have it both ways, y'all. Was it thriving or was it always has it always been violent? Uh, Kaylor said Bloods gang members keep us safe in their own way. And you would have that. Over the police. Well, listen to me. You get what you pay for because the Bloods and the Crips and these gangs that I know of from Southern California, the only way they're keeping you in they're going to extort money from you. And if they decide that they want something from you and you don't give it to them, they're going to attack you. Listen to me. Y'all, these, these are not even wolves in sheep clothing. These are just outright ravening wolves. The Bloods, the, 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 uh, the Crips, and all of these gangs and this group that, listen to they're dependent on the bloods to keep them safe? Oh my goodness, safe from who? Listen to me, who are the bloods keeping them safe from? The only thing that the bloods is keeping them safe from are other gangs. The bloods are not going to keep them safe from the police. The bloods are not going to keep them safe from the city council and the, and the, and the ones that can really help them. The bloods are not even going to keep them safe from Black Lives Matter. Well, they don't have to worry about that because Black Lives Matter is nowhere to be found anyway. But residents and businesses uh, complain that a new element of lawlessness has seeped into the area recently with left-wing militants and gang members turning it into a volatile autonomous zone. Kind of sounds like Seattle, Washington or Portland, Oregon, Antifa and Black Lives Matter. No matter where they go, y'all listen to me, no matter where they go, they cause problems. They tear stuff up. They cause fear. They extort money. In Seattle, Washington, that's what they were doing in Seattle, Washington. They were extorting money from the people in the businesses that were inside that chop zone. Oh, my goodness. You know, 
Let God be the truth and every man be a liar. And I thank God that I'm saved and that he's given me a sound mind because listen to me, you will continue black people falling prey to the stuff that's going on in your communities from your own people if you don't start getting outside of the color of your skin and asking God to give you a sound mind. Listen to me. God is not a respect of person. God is not black, red, white, brown. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when you have and you understand who God truly is, you look outside of the color of your skin because inside of your skin, like inside of the white man's skin and the red man's skin and the brown man's skin beats a red heart, blood, bones, tissue, muscle, veins, a brain that's the same color as yours. But you are so stuck on your skin that you will allow your own people because of their treachery to have you doing things that you should not be doing. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up. Oh my goodness, come on. Police said last month they would retake the intersection and restore safety, but gave no timeline. This, the, the, the Star Tribute um, reported at the time. Uh, and, and it has yet to happen. Even after a jury on uh, Tuesday convicted ex um, Minneapolis uh, cop Derek Chauvin of murder and, mass and manslaughter charges in in uh, George Floyd's death. Goes on to say, business is bad. An employee of Giant Express uh, Laundromat said at the square, no one absolutely knows who runs this, he said. It's like a union. Ah, now I want you to keep that in mind because I'm ready to do a video on unions. So keep this in mind. It's like a union. One person is selected as a leader one week, and if they're not fit, they get thrown out. The black and white community now made this a hangout place to come and grieve, he added. There should be a memorial, but something has to be done. And that is the end of the article. Great article. And listen to me, y'all. I, I, I don't want you to take me wrong now. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, let me take off my, let me take off my visual accumulators. I'm not balking at this. I'm not glad that this is happening. But things like this, y'all, they have to happen. Things like this have to be seen. They have to take place because hopefully, and as far as I'm concerned, prayerfully, this will be the thing that will cause people to reevaluate what they're doing reevaluate who you are putting over your life reevaluate your thought process um you know think about the fact that things just aren't going right listen to me everything that happens comes with a spirit that's why in the holy scripture the bible ephesians the sixth chapter verse number 12 it states for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Listen to me. I said it before to y'all in one of my other videos. The very same person that you're looking at with hatred or that's looking at you with hatred, you and that person could be the closest of friends, the dearest of friends. You and that person could be so close together, you know, and, and no matter what the color of your skin is, because it's not the color of the skin, y'all. It's the spirit that abides in the body. It's the spirit that moves the, that, that moves that soul. It's, it, it's, it's the spirit. If it's wickedness in your heart, in your mind, I don't care what the color of you are, your skin is, you're going to be wicked and you're going to be mean. If there's love and compassion, then you'll be loving and compassionate. This thing has to happen. Things like this have to happen because if they don't happen, then people are not going to come to an understanding, y'all, that we need to deal with this on a different level. If you keep on dealing it, looking at uh, these community organizers, if you keep on dealing at it, looking at the the uh, Democratic or party or the Republican party, um, and there's good and bad on both sides, but if you keep looking at these things and you keep looking past Jesus the Christ, you are never going to find what you're looking for. Never. You need to look to the hill from which cometh your help. Whether you, listen to me, for those of you that don't believe in God, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you don't believe in the Holy Spirit, 
Disregard what I'm telling you. But for those of you that are wondering, for those that you, of you that are believers or profess to believers, you need to reevaluate what you have done. When you voted in this administration, when you gave to Black Lives Matter, when you rallied around behind defund the police and all the things that the devil wants you to do. He's a trickster. He's the master liar. He's the father of lies and the Lord of the flies. Listen to me. I'm almost done. So this article is great. This area down there in, in, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where is Black Lives Matter? $90 million is enough money to have this, the, the barricades removed. It's enough money to get the stores open back up. It's enough money to help the people out there uh, uh, get uh, financial loans. And if these women that are graduates and, 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 and they're in their different categories and these leaders and these founders of the Black Lives Matter, surely there's enough educational prowess in them to help the people in that area get things together. And then if the people, if y'all would just do right by God, which will cause you to do right by the police. And then if the police are held accountable, when they do the wrong thing, only, only the wrong thing, but if you will allow the police department, these are great men and women. I enjoy the first responders. I spend time talking with them. I've worked with them extensively. These are great men and women. All of us are fallible. But, but, but the bloods, they are hell bound Hell raisers. You think that they're giving you security. You do something to get on their bad side. Your business, your family, your homes are going to be put in jeopardy because, listen to me, it's not in their heart. Listen to me, y'all. It's not in their heart to do right and to be compassionate and to be honest. It's not in their heart to do that. They're only doing what they do. I wouldn't doubt it if they are extorting money from people that are afraid to tell you that they're being extorted. I wouldn't doubt it. It wouldn't surprise me not one minute because that's what gangs do. They take over property that doesn't belong to them. Gang gang wars in these, in these areas, they, they take place. No, not, not, a, not a one of those gang members out there, unless they happen to be in the hierarchy and they really do own... Um, turf, they really do own property, they don't own nothing. No, they fight over property that doesn't belong to them. They offer security, Lord, they offer security so that so that so that you can so that you will pay them and extort they extort money from you to keep their businesses open so you can feel like you're secure from the but you're only being secure from the other gangs. Listen to me y'all, I'm almost done. This whole situation in this area down there around this George Floyd memorial is tragic. It is tragic and it should not be taking place. So this is the thing. What will you do? Will you step back? Will you regroup? Will you rethink what you've been doing? Will you start asking the questions that are that you need to be asking? Will you stop being so doggone emotional and start having some 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 sound mind process in what you're doing? The leaders in the community, the pastors, the preachers, will y'all stop being um, when you stop being uh, community organizers and start preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and him crucified and resurrected and sit on the right hand of the throne of God, make an intercession for humanity. Will you as leaders in the church start doing that and stop trying to abide your, trying to split your time between doing that and being community organizers? Will the politicians hold people accountable, hold themselves accountable? Because I'm telling you something, y'all, this that's happening in that area in Minneapolis is tragic. And it's going to remain tragic until people start thinking about what they're doing. It's going to remain tragic. Okay? So listen, if you're not saved, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today because your tomorrow is not promised to you. The Word of God says if you profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day with all power, you shall be saved because you make the profession with your mouth and you believe with your heart unto righteousness. And the word of God says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're a sinner, if you're in the church and you're backslidden and you're sinning, the word of God says, if you confess your sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. He will restore you if you're in the church to his righteousness. 
so that you can pray and get prayers through. If you're not saved, you need to repent of your sin, admit you're a sinner first, and then ask him to save you. And he will do it. He knows your sincerity, y'all. He knows your sincerity. Serving God is a great, is, is a great life. It's, it's, there's, you, you, will, you will lose nothing. You will gain everything, especially your eternal soul and your eternal life. Okay? Listen to me, y'all. Oh, my goodness. This is tragic, but God is in control of all things. So with that said, I'm done. Uh, please subscribe to my videos, Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. Ring the bell. Ding! When you ring the bell, you'll be notified when my videos come out. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Leave your comments. And we're going to press on, press on. Okay? And so until we come back together in the next video, God bless you. I love you. And farewell, y'all.